Hey everybody, welcome to the latest episode of All Too Real 2. My name is Michael E. Cohen II, and with me as always is... Is Sesame and Carta. How you feeling? Uh, kind of weird. Uh, uh, I think um, somebody slipped in some DSL in my milk, which is a, a knockoff brand of LSD, uh... Yes, <clears throat> that's only available yeah. on the internet. Yeah, and um, and then I watched the um, uh, "We Wish You a Turtle Christmas," that is an actual title to an actual special that was aired. Well, not aired; it was it was sold on VHS. VHS, <laughs> yes. and this is a thing that exists in this world. It's real. At least I am told it's real. I don't know if the DSL made me hallucinate this uh, 21 minutes of something. I I guess you could call it. It was definitely put on video. So it's definitely it's definitely a video. I guess I can call it that. I mean, um, my, my, my grandma's 80th birthday party was put on video too, but I don't think they should be selling it in you know, <clears throat> commercially. Um. That would be kind of weird if they did, but <laughs> grandma's birthday party, VHS at like the rental store or something. <laughs> it's like, I don't know, you know, just because something is recorded doesn't mean you have to sell it. Or even distribute it, uh, for that matter. I mean, um, and, and, and I think the production quality in my grandma's uh, birthday party video is probably better than this. I mean, yeah, I, I haven't seen it, but I, I think I could see that being true. Um, <laughs> because, wow. I mean, <clears throat> so, you know, I thought Saving Christmas was possibly the worst Christmas movie of all time. And then I picked this. I mean, I want to call this a movie. It's a special. So I guess technically. Yeah, it's like 21 minutes. So um... but I guess technically we could still count Saving Christmas as the worst Christmas movie of all time because it is an actual movie. Yes. But, uh, but this perhaps is the worst Christmas special that I have ever seen in my entire life. Um, I am very glad that I had, didn't see this when I was a kid. Or maybe if I did, I just blocked it out of my memory, uh, mm -hmm. which is possible. Um because we did used to rent movies from the library a lot when I was a kid, so I could have picked it up then and was like, what the hell is this? And then just... What's the opposite of special? Uh, like, I don't know, non-special. I don't know what there would be. I don't um, know, because that's what this is. Um, <laughs> it's anti-special. It's, it's it's a Christmas unspecial. Yeah. Um, it's, it's... Wow. Yeah. <laughs> it's... So, um... <laughs> Yeah, um, yeah, we wish you a turtle Christmas is what we're talking about here, um, which you probably know. Um, this was, um, directed <laughs> by <laughs> you want to call it that, <laughs> Larry Osborne. Mm. Um, who also directed Turtle Tunes, which came out the same year. Yep. Okay. That's pretty much all. Um, just turtle stuff. Uh, just two. Mm hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> And uh, this was written by Trish Rabe, or Raby. I don't know. Maybe she has rabies. I don't know. Um, and that explains <laughs> how she wrote this. <laughs> and, <laughs> and she's known for um, 
it looks like writing a bunch of uh kids stuff like uh she also wrote she wrote turtle tunes as well so the okay yeah. so we got yeah double mm -hmm. all right we'll have to look Still... that one up sometime and then kill ourselves before we watch it and um yep. the uh <laughs> see <a> thing here. <laughs> yeah but she she's she worked on like clifford's puppy days and uh jimboree presents let's get moving trains cars and planes oh okay yeah and among I'm on title but all right um, among some other things I mean, hey, if she, you know, she got paid to do it, and you know, it's and cool. And she wrote the lyrics to this, to the music in this. Okay, thing. Uh, well, that made me lose a little bit of respect for her uh -huh. right there. But uh, and and then you got Richard Berg who wrote the music. Or, yeah. Mm -hmm. Which you want to talk about DSL? Uh, wow. Um, I mean, what? I mean, the music. I, I would say this: the music is definitely very unique and it's that music. can either be a good thing or a bad thing but uh <clears throat> it exists yes yes um so yeah not a lot really happens in this thing um so this is probably going to be a short episode folks but still it's a physical basically it's i mean it's Mm -hmm. And most of it is songs, and then there's like a little bit of plot in between the songs, basically. It's all so, it's, you know, and and it's only 21 minutes long. So, so, so when when it comes to writing or to acting, there's a thing that characters always have to have in a scene. It's mm -hmm. it, it's it's an objective of like a goal of something that they're trying to do. There's only one in this whole thing. They want to get a gift for Splinter. Yeah, but they gotta make sure that <clears throat> when they enunciate that they have to get a gift for Splinter, that they uh, it looks like they're reading from cue cards or from like a teleprompter screen. Like that's very vital and important. Well, that's just because their eyes don't blink. Oh, but and... even so, the way they talk, they're like, "We need to go get a gift for Splinter." Yeah, oh, you mean uh, the enunciation on their voices, which oh yeah, you know, which bad. which was yeah. probably recorded by separate people from the people actually in the suits. I'm it's assuming. Like, um, yeah, and the way that their mouths moved and that they showed zero emotion to anything that they're saying because their costumes wouldn't allow them to do so, uh, or their heads at least. This uh, the the this makes um, Turtles three, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles three, the live action movie. Look like yes. Citizen Kane. Oh, I know. I mean, like th that movie has you know a lot of criticism for it, but but yeah, I mean the the budget. I'm guessing the budget for this may have been like a thousand dollars tops, maybe. And then I, uh, I, I read it online. I looked it up. Yeah, five thousand dollars. Five in 1994. Really? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, where did most of that money go? That's what I'm starting to wonder. Maybe to DSL. I don't know. But uh, well, I, my my main thing about it is like. Did they already have the costumes, or did the five thousand just go to the costumes? I, mean, I sure hope not, because <laughs> I mean the way that they were. Uh... Well, I mean that that would be you know that, to, to get costumes that would actually work would cost probably millions of dollars at that time. Okay, because I'm sure that's what the like Jim Henson costumes cost for the first two live action <laughs> turtles films, you know. Okay. Um this this always reminds me of like that uh what was that uh Turtles um that there was like a, a short lived live action Turtles uh um T V series. Oh I don't remember. Yeah, um, but th that was better than this. <laughs> I was uh <clears throat> I was part of Turtle Mania back in the late eighties, so I had like the coloring books yeah. and then I watched the <clears throat> the cartoon, like the original cartoon, and then um and then, you know, obviously when the first two movies came out, I was, you know, really excited about that and I had some some turtle oh, yeah, toys. It was called the next you know? mutation. It was Ninja Turtles the next mu mutation. Yeah. It was pretty so after... it was produced by Saban Entertainment who produced the Power Rangers. Okay. Yeah. yeah. 
So after Turtles 3 came out, I was already, even even when I saw Turtles 3, I was already kind of already on the sort of end oh, yeah. of that. But then when I saw the movie, that was like it for me. I'm like, okay, this movie was terrible. So I'm kind of pretty much. In 94, I was in high school, so I wasn't really, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I, did, I did see the first, like, Turtles movie in theaters, and uh, I think like after that one, I may have watched the second movie, and that's probably about where I tapped out on that. Um, yeah, well, that's too. The Turtles, the first Turtles movie was kind of dark, hmm. and it and like yeah. almost almost made for teens. Actually, mm-hmm. really think about it. I mean, yeah. smoking cigars and pool halls, and oh yeah, you know, shit like that, and. Um, well, that's that's what they they said. They they ended up like the second one. There's not as much like quote unquote violence in it, and it's all goofy yeah. violence. Yeah, yeah. It... So, do you want me to break down the synopsis for this? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. Um, yeah. So it's Christmas Eve, and we've got our uh, our four brothers here. Um. You know, Donatello, Michelangelo, Raphael, and Leonardo. Um, they're busy trimming their Christmas tree and singing their own randomly reggae version of Deck the Halls. Yep. <laughs> no reason, yeah. but it's reggae. No, no reason whatsoever, just... Uh... <clears throat> Turtles that are yeah. cult- culturally appropriating music. Yeah, um, yeah. So it wasn't that bad of a song, really. The, I mean, the lyrics are kind of. Corny, I mean, but I'm not really sure if this was any better or worse than Snow. You remember him? Uh yeah, sort of. I do. The, yeah. the, the uh, I lick it boom boom down. <laughs> it was like a Canadian white guy. Or former, yeah, like it was that. a white guy from Canada who. That wasn't that bad of a song either, but it was no, but you know, but definitely cultural appropriation. Um, yes, yeah, but uh, whatever. Is it? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I mean, if you like the style of music, you like the style of music. I mean, you know, it's it's true. It's true. Um, apparently, Leonardo likes reggae. I guess I don't know. And then, um, yeah, like most turtles. Yeah, and, I guess. <laughs> so they they finished that song, and. Uh, Raph, like, declares that they've officially finished their Christmas shopping. And that they have to start wrapping their presents. But, uh, they realize that they forgot to get a gift for Master Splinter. Of course, because they all thought that the other turtle, uh, was the one responsible for getting the gift, I guess. Yeah, my thing is, is, why do they all have to get just one gift? Like, doesn't he get four from that? Anyway, so, um, why don't they all go together <laughs> initially to get splinter? Like, why does one yeah. person have to be yeah, in charge whatever. of it? And then... Yeah. <laughs> um, so then they go and they uh, sing a song. <laughs> I guess. Uh, 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 well, at first they have a song called Up From the Sewer. Uh, yeah, and then they have one of the most infectious songs that I've ever heard in my life. Got to get a gift for Splinter. Got to get a gift. Got to get a gift. Got to get a gift. Got a gift for Splinter. Well, they do an extra beat. They do an extra, so it kind of tricks you. Yeah. Got to got to get a gift. Got to get a gift. Got to get a gift. Got to get a gift for Splinter. So instead of doing it on the fourth, they do it on the fifth. Oh wow. And, Oh, this is tricky. We got some like we got some mm. you know complex music going on here, and it, it was pretty infectious actually with yes. the harmony. And which is interesting about this is that you know conveniently there's kids playing on trash can during this, and <clears throat> it was my understanding, and correct me if I'm wrong here because it's been a while since I was part of Turtle Mania back in the early '90s and late '80s, but <clears throat> I thought the whole point. Was that they were supposed to disguise themselves in public, and they're just hanging out with these kids singing the song uh, for like five minutes? It, like it depends it, on the mythology. Okay, okay. Yeah. Some some versions they're known by, you know, it, it, it's kind of like how you know 
in some iterations, people know that Peter Parker is Spider-Man and some they don't, you know? Hey. Yeah, that sort of thing. <laughs> um, yeah. And also, I don't think they thought about that. <laughs> That's the thing. I don't think there was any yeah. like thought behind, like, like, oh, we're gonna do a different, um, a different timeline here or anything. Like yeah. That. Uh, no, this yeah, isn't. But a yeah, they're gonna get, thing. Get, get, that was actually kind of a not bad song, but it kind of carried on too long. And yeah, then, was, uh, and, and then we get Raphael doing opera at one point or something. Yeah, we we get a. Or is it Michelangelo? I don't remember. I, I, don't, I don't. It probably doesn't matter. Um, <laughs> it doesn't. <laughs> No, they got like old little city of New York is one of the songs. Then they have uh they have another song called Rap Rap. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> because they're rapping presents and why mm -hmm. why wouldn't you rap to rapping presents? I mean, come on. Like it's lowest hanging fruit you could find, you know, rotten fruit. It's already on the ground by the sewers and probably infected with multiple germs and possibly feces and urine and yeah, uh, they, but yeah, you know, so, um, yeah, they, they, the, the gift they end up getting him is a framed plastic pizza. Not only that, they gave him like 15 gifts. It was like, it was like Splinter really like, uh, oh. Like, what all the bandit here? Like, um, yeah, it was 12 gifts because they did the 12 days of Christmas. They and... gave them five video games. Can you imagine mm -hmm. how much where do they get this money? For one thing, I have an idea about this. All right, so, uh, actually, just for a second, I want to go back to the opera song really quick. So, yeah. at one point, they were trying to like lift up, uh, whoever it was, Raphael or Michelangelo, it doesn't matter, singing the song and like. It wouldn't work, and I think like they just gave up. Like I think I don't think that was like meant to be part of the. Like I think it was just like oh we can't do this, so they just stop. And, and then like, like they could like do a retake or whatever. We're like we don't have we don't have the film to do the retake or um, time. And yeah. like because it looked like his legs were shaking. Like yeah, and, like they just stopped like trying. And uh, I'm like oh, and wow, speaking that's... of things shaking, um. Okay. <laughs> Oh, okay, yeah. I, I think I know what you're... <laughs> During um, Gotta Get a Gift, um, there's a shot where it looks like you can see... Is it Raphael? I think it's Raphael. I think it was Raphael. You can see Raphael's <laughs> uh, little Raphael. His, 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 his little turtle was peeking out of its shell. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> yes. For yeah, for uh, uh, for want of a better word. Uh, yeah, you got to see his penis basically. Um, and well, uh, <laughs> well the bulge, not the actual. Oh no, uh, I saw it. <laughs> the whole thing. What? The, oh, really? Yeah, I, I I watched it several times just to see if oh, I was I going did, crazy. I didn't know that. Wow. Yeah, but the thing is, it could have been a strap. I don't know. But why would? Okay, but why Either, would they even. But but you can see the seams on the costumes and everything throughout this thing anyway. So um, why would you do a whatever? And then but that's the weird thing because that's a song with all the kids involved. Exactly. Then, it was right after he jumped on the back of one of the kids. Oh no no yes no oh I didn't even, I didn't even remember, see that part. Yeah, he jumps Wait. like there's there's this kid on like a bike or a skateboard or something, and he jumps on his back and goes why across across that? the screen, like, and then they cut to him. And you see his thing. <laughs> He's like ten feet taller than. Like, why would they even do that? Like, I don't know. Looked, that was ridiculous. <laughs> I did, I I must have just like yeah. Was paying attention, or maybe the DSL was kicking in at that point. And I was. I, I kept rewinding it just to make sure I was seeing what I was seeing. That is. Yeah. Wow. That, that's 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 okay. Uh, mm -hmm. All right. Um. You know what's interesting. Who's absent in all this is April. Exactly. He's not in, not in here. No. So they couldn't afford another actor. Um. <laughs> oh, or or um, was it, was it Jesse or, was or it, Casey? Um, Casey, yeah. Casey he wasn't Jones. there either. Yeah, no. Um. 
so anyways, we, we, we get them singing 12 Days of Christmas later on where they're giving out, out gifts to Splinter. And, uh, and well, Splinter's kind of singing the song, but they're giving him all the gifts. And uh, he, like, thanks them for the gifts. Um, and during the song, a bunch of children. It's the same kids, I think, from the yeah, gotta they, get a gift for yeah, Splinter. they 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 show up in the sewer. <laughs> they just they just were yeah they just showed up somehow. yeah I think I know why because they kept cutting back to Leonardo holding the the sewer whatever it's called the handle or the the oh it was like a. You oh, know, the, oh, the, oh, the, 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 um, the sewer, um, the lid. Yeah, basically. the lid thingy. Yeah. <laughs> they kept cutting back. Man- the manhole same. cover. There we go. Yeah. Yeah. And they kept cutting back to the same. Mm-hmm. It wasn't like a new time. It was literally the no. same cut. And, and that was my theory as to how they were able to get so many gifts for Splinter is that Leonardo was basically saying that they stole the gifts because they're like, oh, we went through the sewers, then we found our way up through the stores that were closed, and that's how we were able to get ah. five video games. Can you imagine? And how they, 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 are, money... they are ninjas. I know, but can you imagine how much money five video games would cost in 1994? Even yes. for regular Nintendo, let alone Super Nintendo or Sega Genesis. They didn't specify what system they were getting it for. But just to say, all right, on the cheap end, we're going with NES. Which you know at that point was still making games, but they were it was less popular because you had Super Nintendo competing against the old okay. brand. Then you also had Sega Genesis. Okay, fine. And then average price for video games, even NES during 1994, <laughs> was probably at least around forty to fifty dollars yeah. a piece. Doesn't no matter how bad the game was, they all pretty much cost the same. I think and, I think they were um, all just used copies of ET for the Atari. Well, maybe, but uh, <laughs> you know, they didn't specify that could be it too. Maybe they just got the Atari <laughs> ET game, and um, but or, if we're talking or, new. Or just got them those like Tiger Electronics stupid games that we would get sometimes from people. When True, we were kids. so they didn't really specify. Yeah. So maybe maybe they went on the cheap end. But but the interesting thing about that though is that when they actually finally got the gift. All they showed was them getting the framed pizza. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden, when Splinter starts singing his songs, he gets a skateboard. No, he gets like three skateboards. He gets five video games. Uh, like, where did all this stuff come from? Because they, they only said, like, oh, we found a perfect gift, the, the pizza, I guess, for some reason. And then because, oh, we like pizza. Because we're turtles, so we're gonna give Splinter a gift of something we like. Okay, that's not really what you're supposed to do, but okay. And then um, you're supposed to get a gift that the other person likes. Yeah, that way. But okay, fine. And then uh, and it wasn't even a real pizza; it was a framed picture, or it had like a pizza inside yeah. of glass. It was art. Thing. And it looked like it was an actual like rotting pizza that they had like oh. taken. Uh, it, yeah, whatever. It was weird. Um, so yeah, that's basically the movie, though. <laughs> it is. And they had the songs. And then they have another song. Yeah, when he's doing the, and then he forgets kind of where he's at after like a yeah, night. They uh, kind of forget where he's going. And by the way, the Splinter costume impeccable chef's kiss i mean uh it, i mean wow it was that I, good huh couldn't get a better i mean it looked like a cross between like a taxiderm rat that was really huge and then also animatronic somehow like what you'd get from like major magics which was a the chuck e. cheese maybe maybe it was an old chuck e cheese animatronic yeah. that they just and then it just like what and then and and the other thing I noticed is that when they're doing their songs, it was like different people were recording each song. Yeah. So like, it didn't even sound like the same people singing, which is weird because like you know you're and, trying to establish these people as characters, 
Well, but they're, they're, then their speaking voices were like just. I mean, I know that they're supposed to be from New York, but they were like, "Yo, what's up? I'm New York, you know? Yeah, what's going on? I'm I'm a turtle, you know?" <laughs> yeah, it was. Ugh, yeah, it was really it was, bad. Yeah, yeah, it was very bad. Plus, mm-hmm. too, again, <clears throat> the no emotion. Like, we gotta get a gift for Splinter. Like, oh, okay, like, all right, dude. You know, this was an obvious <laughs> cash grab. I mean, that's all I'm gonna say. Oh, but, totally. Yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. come on, 1994. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, this was surprised. even when, this was even when they were kind of dying, so it was like well, maybe that's why they're like hoping yeah. to like mm-hmm. like to make some money on the way out, you know, of the of the yeah. bank whatever that went bad, and then um, which I've, I'm I think they robbed the bank probably to to buy all of these mm-hmm. presents from Splinter, and then Splinter's just like, oh, thank you, but you know I don't really need all the stuff, and it's like fuck you, Splinter, like we we went up all of our way to. You know, it's, it's, get the you thought the, that, it's the thought that counts, Splinter. Come on. Like, yeah, okay. Thank you, Splinter. Just go go to hell now. Enjoy your three skateboards and your five video games. And, you know, we'll just go eat pizza to death, I guess, or something. And, of course, they order the pizza from their phone that's inside the sewer, which I never understood how they were able to hook up, like, electricity and a phone line. In a sewer? That was always a question, even as a kid, I had, which, you know, normally you wouldn't notice because you're too busy focusing on the actual movie. But even back then, I was like, how do they have electricity in a sewer? How do they have a phone line that they're able to to call pizza? Okay. Um, You're not worried about the, you know, talking turtles. You're. Well, no, because that, see, that's the thing. So, you you establish suspension of belief to to things that are just like completely out of bounds, like from reality. But then, you know, when you see stuff that is closer to reality, yeah, being not in reality, then that's you're like that doesn't make any sense. So it's like, yeah, I totally understand, like people who nitpick stupid shit, like in Star Wars or whatever, yeah. But, like, at the same time, it's like, okay, like, you're getting a little bit too nitpicky here. Like, for example, with the Captain Marvel, where they're like, oh, like, why is her suit change colors? Uh, or something like that or whatever. Um, Like, you know, that that guy who thinks he's, like, a Baha'i superhero or whatever. I'm not going to say his name. But, uh, you know, and he's like, Batman's bad. Abdu'l-Bahá would never watch Batman. I'm like, well, Abdu'l-Bahá died in 19, like, 17. So, like, you know. Batman wasn't even a character yet. Okay, and then uh, and sorry, it shouldn't be dragging the third of my ear, but um, yes, uh, shouldn't be, but you know, mm. I I am, I guess, but um, that's okay. Um, yeah. but yeah, the uh, it's it's interesting. Yeah, th- this this movie was very interesting. Um, I yeah yeah, I'm still not sure what to think of it. Um. So, um, did you want to hear some trivia about it? Uh, yeah, sure. This should be good. Okay. The budget was $5,000. That's all the trivia. Um, <laughs> that it? Yeah. Also, here are all the goofs. According to the Internet Movie Database. During the gift hunt, the turtles sing... Six yellow yo-yos. But Michelangelo is clearly only holding five of them. Okay. Um, Michelangelo proudly displays the framed pizza when Splinter sings about it and even points to himself every time he referred to... It, it's referred to, however, it was Donatello's ideal, idea to get the framed pizza in the first place. So he's taking credit for it. Um, yeah. The costumes are really low quality in this production, and it shows visible seams and zippers can be seen on Turtles' costumes. <laughs> um, the cameraman's shadow on all four turtles during one of the on on during the song, the song "I uh, Got to Get a Gift," um, and then the infamous during the performance of "Got to Get a Gift" for Splinter, the actor playing Le- Le- it was Leonardo. His genitals are visibly hanging out of his costume. Jesus Christ. 
<laughs> um, yeah. So there's that. Um, <laughs> yeah, there is that. Yeah. Um, so we can close this out with, with a user review or two, if that's cool. Okay. <laughs> um, let's find a short one. This is a 10 out of 10. Okay. This, it's got to be sarcastic. Oh, yeah. All right. uh, um, this uh, is an awesomely bad. This is from Rachel Emons. This was on December 7th of 2019. I'm rating this not on quality, but on how much I enjoyed it. My kids laughed from the beginning to the end. And I never stopped smiling either. Sure, the costumes are horribly done, and the songs are cheesy beyond belief. But that's part of the magic of this little-known gem. Just grab some popcorn or some pizza and have a good 22-minute laugh. And have a great year filled with pizza, with cheese, whipped cream, and pickles. Sounds like she's pregnant. Um, anyway, so the... Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. So... Yeah. Wow. That's it? That's all the trivia that there's... Or that, that's a review. Here's another review. <laughs> oh, okay. Here's a 1 out of 10. Hilariously awful. This is from Miss Simonetta. This is on December 10th of 2014. Depending upon your temperament, you will either be horrified or amused by this. I am both. My sisters and I find this monstrosity so hilarious that we actually watch an MST3K it every year. Um, how can I explain how wrong this special is? Ugly turtle costumes that make the latex nightmares in Terminator, I mean, not Terminator, on TMNT3 look like Jim Henson's masterworks in the 1990 film. Leonardo rapping about rapping presents, Michelangelo singing opera, the turtles all having interchangeable personalities, the fact that they give Splinter things more suited to their taste than his for Christmas. Little kids randomly populating the sewer. If only <laughs> Shredder had appeared, then this would have been amazingly terrible. And well, try not to watch this before going to bed. You'll have nightmares of lifeless turtle faces for sure. <laughs> With their dead eyes. <laughs> Like doll's <laughs> eyes. Um, yes. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. Um, this movie, or, or special rather, <clears throat> disturbed me more. And, I, and I'm being sincere here. Uh, <clears throat> there was a movie I first saw in 2004, and it was being played on like HBO, like seemed like every single night and it was i think it was called may and she was like a serial killer oh i i know may that's a good movie but mm -hmm. this probably disturbed me more than that movie and she literally would just like kill people for like no reason and then like yeah. and like she slit jeremy sisto's throat which is one of my favorite actors of all time and that really hurt my feelings and then uh <laughs> you know as the Michael Jordan meme said, and I took that personally. And then, um, but this this special disturbed me more than that. So um, that's that's saying. So. Anna Ferris was in that movie too. Was she? I see. She was the one that she got killed, right? And then, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Starred Angela Bettis as May. And then she Jeremy the Jeremy Sisto uh, was in it, and James Duvall was in it as well. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't remember uh, that movie. I I've got that on DVD. Yeah, it's 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 a it's uh, definitely uh it's worth suspense. watching. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but yeah, <clears throat> I could see how this is more disturbing though. <laughs> I you know, I'd rather watch the scene in that one Saw movie where the girl falls into a big uh, oh. vat of needles than 
Oh, but she was actually working for uh, the the dude. Like she was yeah. pretending one of the the. Uh, but then I I heard behind the scenes stuff about that scene yeah. that made it hurt even more. They had taken Which, the 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 real needles out of all these uh, real real uh, you know syringes that they had. Yeah. And somehow, right before they shot the scene, somebody dumped a box of ones that they hadn't changed out the needles yet. Oh, no. So she fell in there, and she got poked by a few, I guess. Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> so, that's terrible. Um, yeah. Yeah. So that scares me every time I see that scene. But anyway, because uh, just got, I've got a needle phobia. Um, but the... Um, Whatever that's called, you know. It's not like claustrophobia where you're afraid of Santa Claus. Um, <laughs> that's what that is, right? Um, no, because Santa and Satan get it because, yeah. you, mm-hmm. like Kirk Cameron's movie says, you know, you change the mm-hmm. letters around yeah. and, and then you get Satan. So It's like that. there's a scene in uh, The Good Place where they say claustrophobic and Jason's like, why would anybody be afraid of Santa Claus? Oh, the Jewish. Oh. <laughs> Whoa, <what's that? laughs> oh, so Real stupid. Jason and yeah. Lake Falls, and then uh... yeah. <laughs> the um, but uh, anyways, um, any final thoughts here? Um, just uh. Make sure you know if you're gonna watch this uh, special, don't don't accidentally take DSL that's slipped into your milk um, or any beverage or real uh, LSD or yeah or real LSD, not not hmm. not just a knockoff. But um, yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, my uh, final thoughts can. Um, he summed up in a story. Um, this movie scared me. And I'm afraid to leave my house now. But the one thing I do want to relate to people is that there was once upon a time where I was actually attacked by ninjas. So the idea of Ninja Turtles kind of scares me. Okay. Mm-hmm. I did. I was attacked. And it was a Thanksgiving week in a Walmart where a bunch of those ninja blenders fell on me and one cut open my face. So. Wait, seriously? Yes. Oh. <laughs> so I got to say I was attacked by ninjas. So, oh. um... <laughs> Wow. They were ninja blenders, but whatever. Um, <laughs> yeah, um... Yes. So, I will tell people here, be kind to each other. And if there's anybody you don't like, don't do not do anything violent to them. Just recommend that they watch this. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> that I, should be a death punishment. Yes. I'm pretty sure that they show this on loop at Guantanamo Bay. But I mean, it would be a good torture device. Yes. Uh, just like put it literally on replay and just like uh, even like change the speed up to like half time so it's like last longer. Oh, and then, God. That would that would be scary. Gotta get a gift. Gotta get a gift. Gotta get a gift. Gotta get a gift. Gotta get a gift for split or. But then you, that means you see, you know, Leonardo's bulge for longer, so that's not great. But, um, yeah, yeah, so it's the name of my new band, <laughs> Leonardo's Bulge. <laughs> <laughs> we just performed songs from this Christmas special, <laughs> <laughs> that's great, actually. Um, <laughs> that's a great idea for like a one time performance, like, yeah. Like that's it, just the one, the one off, you know. Mm-hmm. And everybody's wearing some of those like truck nuts. That the... okay, anyway. So um, oh. so the <laughs> so, anyways, <laughs> folks, 
If we haven't scared you away already, please do us yeah. a favor and check all check out all two real two dot com. Um, check out our T Public, our Patreon. Um, you can find us on Spotify, on Apple, and all of the nice places, you know, like Stitcher and all the other places you can get podcasts. And we have a YouTube. We'll have some videos coming out soon on there. I think we have all of our episodes up on YouTube now, too. And I set up a thing so they will be on there the day of from now on, too. So it'll automate, which will be fun. Automation. Yes. Yep. It's going to take over the world. And, um, like I said, be kind to each other. And make sure you uh, go out and spend your time with your brothers. Because you got to get a gift, got to get a gift, got to get a gift, got to get a gift for Splinter. Yeah. Remember that. Yeah. And uh, we love you. Yep. Bye-bye. Thanks for listening to All Too Real 2 Podcast, a Cullen Park production. Produced and edited by Michael E. Cullen II. Music by Matthew Hawes. Subscribe and share the show. Visit us at cullenpark.com.